Yo, peace, what's good? Um, welcome to part two of my EPMD introduction. Uh, I left off where I was talking about PMD not having a, a successful career compared to Eric Sermon. Um, like I said, he dropped a shady business, which again wasn't as successful. He had, you know, joints like I saw it coming and um, shady business, which I really enjoyed shady business, but um, love the production on the album. But it is just that, you know, with PMD with Paris Smith on that album. Um, he was trying to put too much into the rhymes, you know what I mean? It was like he was, it's like he, it, it, it almost sounded like he was rushing, you know what I mean? And it, like, it, it, it sounded offbeat, you know, it didn't sound right, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I mean, I hate to say it like that, but it's, it is what it is, you know? It's like, and I guess he was still pissed off about the whole home invasion. And I, it obviously got to him, you know, obviously. You know, and I couldn't understand that, you know, your house, you know, being ransacked and shit like that, you know. So, you know, you don't trust, you don't really trust anybody, you know. So, you know, that kind of thing. So, and then, you know, he dropped that business is business that dropped in 1996, which I do have. Um, dope album. I think he kind of stepped it up compared to um, the Shady Business album. You know, and then, you know, Eric Sermon at that time, man. Uh, actually, you know what? He's one of the first MCs um, from the East Coast to move to the Down South. I think he was. A lot of people don't give Eric Sermon credit for that um, and stuff like that. They, they really don't. Uh, you know, because you know this whole trend now, you got mad niggas from New York, like Down South, you know, moving Down South and stuff like that. But Eric Sermon did that way before back in the day. You know, I think Too Short had moved to Atlanta around that time too, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what else? And then, you know, he, he opened his own rim shop and things like that. This was like around 93. And, you know, I think, you know, they kind of give Eric Sermon, you know, uh, credit to having, like, you know, his own rim shop and, you know, putting rims in people's cars and stuff like that. Even certain celebrities at the time, you know, people would go to his shop and, you know, they would put rims and shit like that, you know. So, I thought it was pretty dope, man. And then, Around 96, you know, Eric Sermon, you know, he dropped a compilation album called the Insomnia, Insomnia, the compilation of the Eric Sermon compilation album. Oh my God. Some of Eric Sermon's best production is on that album. And just Eric Sermon at that time, like, you know, around 93 to like 96 was, is my favorite era of Eric Sermon. Like, you know, his production at that time was just so dope, which I kind of wish he would go back to, you know, but... You know, we, unfortunately, you know, you know how it goes, man. You know, people try to, you know, evolve and shit like that. I fucking hate that word. But, you know, just for the fans, you know. I just hope Muddy Waters 2 is just like the original Muddy Waters that came out in 96. Um, But, yeah, and Eric Sermon, like, he was one of the producers, like, you know, the producer for hire, you know, where people, he would, you know, remix people's songs and... You know, do on b joints and stuff like that. You know, things of that nature. I mean, he's worked with, you know, Shaquille O'Neal, SWV, um, you name it. Like, whoever was hot at the time, he's more than likely worked with, you know. Um, you know, that kind of thing. So, and then, throughout those three years, without them making music, um, I guess they made up. And then, you know, they dropped back in business back in 1997. You know, that was supposed to be the comeback album. It's been five years since they dropped the album. And I don't know, man. We're back in business. It was okay. You know, the um, I think one of the singles was called um, The Joint. That was supposed to be the single. That That is a single. That's I think that was the first single. And there's a video for it. It's a decent song. Um, you know, Rick the Scale, you know, that kind of thing. But... The chemistry for me wasn't there, man. It just wasn't, you know, compared to the first four albums, man. It just, I don't know. It was something lacking about Back in Business, man. It's like, the only songs I liked from the album was uh, Get With This. That was my shit. I love that joint. That was pretty dope. Um, but I, I just wasn't digging Back in Business like that, man. I felt like it could have been a lot better. Um, it's one of those things where, you know, I think certain stuff should just be left alone. You know, don't try to force things. I mean, I understand, you know, you you know, we as a fans will want certain things, but I think certain things should just left be. You know, that's just my opinion. Um, 
that that's just me because and it, and this song was a prime example. I mean, it was okay, but it wasn't like oh my god, wow, you know, nothing to write anything home about. And I was 1997. Then in 1999, uh, 1999, they dropped out of business, uh, which came out in 1999. Known for the single uh, Symphony with MOP, and then you got the remix with, with Method Man, Keith Murray. Uh, no, yeah, it's no, I'm sorry. Method Man, Red Man, and Lady Luck, and stuff like that. I have that album too, as well. Uh, again, another album like, I could have. It was okay, you know. One of the songs I do like for now is I like. It's called House Party. It's I think it's like a continuation of K Solo's House Party. The formula, parentheses House Party. Uh, it's pretty much their version of that song. I know I really love that song. I love the beat for that shit. I thought that was pretty cool. And then they have like a special edition of it uh, when it comes to two disc. It, the second disc is like the is the is the um like the greatest hits you know from their first four albums and stuff like that so um and i think from the from the um, back to business album yeah from the back back to business but i don't know man i just wasn't really digging those albums man like you know back to business and out of business i just wasn't digging it i just felt like the chemistry wasn't there you know you can't force for certain things man and then and then they, you know, they took a break. You know, they were still, you know, releasing solo albums and things like that. And then throughout this time, you know, they both their their um, popularity wasn't as big. They weren't as popular, you know, throughout the later years. You know, you know, Eric sort of put out that music album, which was pretty decent. Um, Paris Smith, you know, he was working, he was dropping albums with uh, DJ, he was working a lot with DJ Honda and stuff like that, you know, so he, Paris Smith tend to go more underground and then, excuse my cousin cold, and then, you know, Eric Smith, you know, tend to do like more mainstream stuff, things like that, you know, they both sell like, you know, uh, releasing like solo projects, doing production and things like that, and then, um, Fast forward to 2008, you know, Eric, uh, they both came back and they came out with their last album they ever dropped with We, we Mean Business. Uh, the single of that album is uh, Listen Up with, with Teddy Riley. Uh, didn't like that song at all. That was super reckless. Um, that song, the album, it was, uh, it was okay. It was just, again, it's like one of those albums I felt like should have just been left alone. In my opinion. Like, it should have never been made. I, like, I understand why they put it out. You know, for the fans, but again, the chemistry wasn't there, man. This wasn't good. I mean, this is so-called putting in work with Ray, with Ray Quad. That was pretty good. I like that joint. But again, it didn't really fit EPMD. That sound like more like a Ray Quad song. You know what I mean? Like something that could have been on, um, on um, what's that album? Only built for Cuba Links Two. You know what I mean? But overall, guys, EPMD, one of my favorite groups of all time. You know. Their first four albums, I highly recommend them. Uh, I would even recommend their solo albums. I, I think I would set up to like 96, you know. At least for Eric Sermon, you know. It, even check out, no, you know what? Check their solo albums. You be the judge. But me personally, my favorite years of Eric Sermon, in my opinion, is from 1990 to like 96, you know. I would say like that. Um, you know, the, yeah. And then Paris Smith. You know, I would say the same thing, you know, um, even though he does have some dope stuff that he did later, later on, uh, he did, he, he released the album with the Snow Goons, which was okay, but again, you know, one of the most influential hip-hop groups of all time, music in general, you know what I mean, they broke ground with this, with their production, you know, you know, just their delivery and shit like that, just so fucking dope, man, and you know what I mean, and unfortunately, you can never you can, you can never duplicate them. You know what I mean, and even if they were to get back, they could never make music like they did back in the day. Like it's just impossible. It's very impossible. So, but that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, stay tuned for more. I will be doing these more often. I apologize. I've been busy with the CD collections, which I have. Um, some CD collections coming up. I could do one right now if I wanted to, but I'm gonna, you know, 
take a break because, you know, I got some other seeds I got in the mail, you know, that I'm waiting for, that kind of thing. So, um, but yeah, guys, I um, hope you guys enjoyed that interview. I mean, that introduction video. Again, shout out to Freddy Lugo, you know, Kyle JTB2000, Mike Sears, Ross Hartley, Move616, um, The Cruel Gamer, um, you know, Miss Anthropic One. You know, to name a few, man. Everybody, shout out to all the subscribers, man. All right? Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys have learned something. You know, hope you guys, you know, enjoyed. I know I, I love a couple of stuff out, but, you know, I try to put as much as I can. But, you know, it is what it is. All right? So, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoy it. Peace.